Mathematics is the language of the universe. Therefore, more you know about mathematics, more you can understand the mysteries of the universe. Mathematics is hidden everywhere in the universe, from the behavior of subatomic particles to the motion of celestial bodies. Powerful mathematical equations are capable of describing and predicting the nature and fate of the universe. Most of the things in the nature are highly symmetrical and follow mathematical patterns. Even seemingly random phenomena such as the weather, waves, water flow, etc. exhibit underlying mathematical patterns and can be described using advanced mathematical equations. In nature, we can see mathematical patterns in the form of golden ratio, Fibonacci sequence or fractals. Nikola Tesla, the greatest mind of all the time and also a man of mysteries, stated, If you knew the magnificence of 3, 6 and 9, you would have a key to the universe. So, by saying this, what he wanted to tell us? Had he found some secret key to the universe? We will explore the mystery in this video. So, don't go anywhere and keep watching. In this video, I will explain how the universe is controlled by numbers 3, 6 and 9 and how these numbers represent a higher dimensional world while rest of the numbers belong to our three-dimensional world. I will also discuss how number 9 is present everywhere in the universe and controls all the other numbers and even the space and time. Now, let me show you how powerful the number 9 is and how it is present everywhere in the universe. Let's divide a circle in half and observe the sum of the digits of the resulting angles. As we know, a full circle encompasses an angle of 360 degrees at its center. On adding up the digits of 360, we obtain the number 9. But what will happen if we continue dividing the circle in half indefinitely? The results will blow your mind. A semicircle forms an angle of 180 degrees at its center, which also sums up to 9. Now, let's once again divide the semicircle in half, resulting in a 90 degree angle. If you calculate the digital root of this number, it yields 9 once again. By repeating this process every time, we obtain 9 as the digital root, even when the procedure is repeated an infinite number of times. But is this phenomena exclusive to circles or does it extend to other shapes such as polygons? Let's have a triangle. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Adding the digits of this number gives us 9. Similarly, for a rectangle with interior angles summing up to 360 degrees, the digital root is 9 once again. Now, let's examine a pentagon. The sum of its interior angles adds up to 540 degrees, which unsurprisingly also sums up to 9. Repeating the same process for hexagons, heptagons and octagons gives the same digital root 9 consistently. Did you notice an amazing thing here? When you were dividing the circle in half repeatedly, we were reaching the singularity of a space every time we encountered the number 9. It indicates that 9 follows a space up to its singularity. Moreover, as the number of sides of the polygon increased, the polygon itself started to look like a circle. 
as the polygon's number of sides approaches infinity, it transforms into a circle. Since 9 appeared in all the polygons, it implies that 9 accompanies space all the way to infinity. Consequently, it becomes evident that the number 9 exists from the singularity of space to the infinity of space. Does number 9 also control time? Have a look at this. It proves that number 9 is present everywhere in space and time, and it also controls them. Researchers have discovered that the universe vibrates at a frequency of 432 Hz. Interestingly, this frequency can also be reduced to the number 9. When the well-known symbol of Ohm is pronounced correctly, it produces a frequency of 432 Hz which is same at which our universe vibrates. On observing the shape of the Ohm symbol, it becomes apparent that it combines the numbers 3, 6 and 9 with the number 9 positioned at the top of 3 and 6. Not just this, in Hinduism, the sacred number 108 also reduces to number 9. All the living things in this world are made up of cells. Multicellular organisms are formed by the division of a single cell. A single cell divides into two cells. Then, after division of both the cells, we get four cells. Then, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128 cells are produced. In this way, doubling sequence continues. And finally, we have a full multicellular organism. Now, let's try to understand this sequence mathematically. See, here is a sequence of doubling of numbers. This sequence starts from number 1, like 1, 2, 4, 8, and so on. As you can notice here, next number is the double of its previous number. Now, to convert all these numbers into a single digit number, we will use a technique known as the digital root technique. For this, we will add the digits of the number until we get a single digit number. As a result, we will get the digital root of the number. So, here you can see the digital roots of these numbers. Can you observe a pattern in the digital roots that are shown here in orange color? You can see a repeated sequence of numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, and 5. Even if you go up to infinity, the same pattern repeats. Now, instead of doubling the numbers, let's halve the numbers repeatedly, starting from number 1. Add all the digits of the number and get the digital root as shown here. It's surprising to observe that the same set of numbers repeats when we double or half the numbers. The sequence of 1, 2, 4, 8, 7 and 5 appears consistently. An interesting observation is that the numbers 3, 6 and 9 are missing every time from both sequences. These repeating numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7 and 5 are represented in white in the diagram, while the missing numbers 3, 6 and 9 are shown in yellow. But what does the absence of numbers 3, 6 and 9 in the sequence mean? Does it point to any secret code of the God or some mystery of the universe? According to some researchers, numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7 and 5 represent our 3D world where we live in and the absence of numbers 
3, 6, and 9 in the sequence means these numbers belong to higher dimensional world. But what will happen if we double or half the numbers starting from number 3 or 6? By doubling the previous number, each time we find that the digital roots of the numbers consistently yield only two numbers, 3 and 6. Remarkably, all the numbers from the previous sequence are absent this time. And numbers 3 and 6, which were absent in the previous sequence, are now the only ones present. Okay, let's do some more maths. This time we will halve the numbers repeatedly starting from number 3. Here are the numbers. Now again get the digital roots of the numbers by adding the digits of the number. And here is what we get. Amazing! This time also we get the same numbers 3 and 6. Hence, whether we double or half the numbers, if we start with number 3, we get number 3 and 6 only. The same pattern emerges even when we double or half the numbers starting from 6. However, it's worth noting that number 9 is absent from the sequence once again. Interestingly, number 9 appears to govern the behavior of numbers 3 and 6. Numbers 1, 2 and 4 are controlled by 3, while numbers 8, 7 and 5 are controlled by 6. Thus, number 9 seems to have control over all the numbers in this pattern. We will get incredible results when we start doubling and halving the numbers from number 9. We are getting only a single number, number 9, every time. What will happen if we halve the numbers repeatedly starting from number 9? What do you see? We are getting number 9 every time. No other number is present in the sequence. Additionally, when we add the digits in the table of 9, we consistently arrive at number 9. Therefore, whether we double or halve the numbers starting from 9, the outcome is always the number 9. The observation implies that number 9 represents itself. Even if you add all the three numbers present in 3, 6 and 9, you will get 9 as the digital root. Now I will demonstrate how 9 symbolizes both everything and nothing. The number 9 shares a certain similarity with the number 0. But how? Let's delve into it. In any given number, if we replace 0 with 9, the digital root of the number remains unchanged. Now, let's explore a mysterious fact about 9. If we add up all the numbers from 1 to 8, excluding 9, the resulting sum reduces to 9. Consequently, we can conclude that number 9 represents all the other numbers. Not just this, as we get 0 on multiplying any number by 0. In the same way, we get 9 as the digital root on multiplying it with 9. Observe these calculations. Thus, we can equate 0 with 9, signifying nothingness. In this way, the number 9 
represents itself and also nothingness and everything. Nine is the king of all the numbers as it controls all the other numbers and even the space-time. Friends, please write me in the comments what you think about 369. If you found the video interesting and informative, then please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.